Hey kitties. Oh, I'm feeling like shit. Um, yeah, I've been trying to do all that songwriting stuff. And it's not working. I mean, <laughs> um, the stuff I do for AIM, I kind of have to do it, so I just do it, and if it's crap, it's crap. You know, it's school stuff. Um, and then other things I do are just messing around, shitty noise art, you know, stuff I did in five minutes and then put some effects on. It's shit easy, and I've been trying to do something that's, I don't know, has a bit more direction, more structure, has words. The only thing I've written that had words to it was that crazy Macbeth song I did in first try, um, which was okay, but, mm. and it wasn't even my words, so, you know, I'm trying to do something with my own words and my own tune and all that, but, I mean, I can come up with a melody, but after a while I just go to sort of think, you know, fuck this, it sounds stupid, um, and then, you know, I've been working it out on the <coughs> bloody keyboard, so then all I can hear is keyboard noise. Um, let's see, I've been doing, I've been trying to play on the guitar with distortion, like power chord's easy, so I've been trying to do some of that. I mean, it sounds better with that, but it's still crap and it's not working. And I've been trying to do drum beats and all that, and it's just, I'm just not into it. Um, yeah, so I'm a bit bummed. Wasted all that time trying to do it. Can't. Nothing. Nyeh. Another one thrown in the trash. Um, and I've kind of been feeling a bit bummed anyway. Um, it's like, what, well, it's spring. I like this weather. It's sort of the right temperature for me. But, on the other hand, this time, the last two years, uh, yeah, last year, and the year before, this time of year, I was so depressed and miserable. And, um, yeah, you know, like, sometimes the weather makes you remember stuff. I think I've got a bit of that. And I'm just really... It's not good. And it's holidays, and I have too much time to think. And, you know, I need to find more stuff to do that's not in the fucking house. Um, or if it is in the house, that can keep me occupied. I mean, I've been working on this... Bloody dragon, and all these things taking forever because I have to sand them to make them fit. And you know, after a while, I just can't be bothered. So anyway, um, oh, but there's this. Uh, maybe I shouldn't name names because this person didn't name me in the video, even though we know it was supposed to be aimed at me. I think that video's been deleted. But anyway. This person completely freaked out with all this destroyer stuff and um, telling me I'm evil and so on. And then, I don't know, it, it's funny because this person is trying to, I don't know, bring me back in some way, um, talking about the destroyer taking over my life and so on. But then, of course, he goes and addresses the destroyer directly. And that always makes me feel really weird because, I don't know, would you say she's listening? And, and, and talking about it and all that. And playing with blue tack because I'm... And, yeah. Fuck. Did you guys hear that? Um, I keep hearing, like, the door doing stuff, or sometimes I think there's, like, a shadow over the back of my, like, shoulder, and when I turn around, there's never anything there. I suppose I could have just looked in the camera, but...
What is he doing? He put something in my drink. What was it? Just a little happy thing. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Everybody's so sorry. I just wanted us both to be happy. Well, I am happy. something on you. You claim to be honest. I believe that. You genuinely seem to believe what you say, even if you're not mistaken. But you also claim to be pure good and open-minded. What do you define as good? Do you include tolerance? Tolerance of different ideas? This goes real nicely with your open-minded bullshit. You can accept the nonsense of supernatural experiences, but you refuse to believe in the dual nature of humanity. You believe in what you want to believe. You like to see the world as black and white. You can't see the grey. You can't perceive the colours. But the world is not black and white. Good and evil are such simplistic ideas. Now let's see. You said my some messages. Long ones. We don't have patience for that. We get so many messages from so many people. It's very arrogant of you to think your message would be so much better than everyone else's. And now you claim all you got from us were destroyer responses. Uh, no, I haven't told you what I really think. Mariko couldn't tell you either. She did the best she could to avoid hurting your feelings, but at the same time tried not to encourage further correspondence from you. But you wrote again and again. Unwanted messages, as if you were the most important person on the internet. Do you like the truth? Do you want the destroyer's evil being? Do you really? You self-righteous asshole. How dare you come here telling me what I can and can't do, what I can and can't be? And how dare you tell me what can and can't be art? You! What makes you so important, so right? What do you think you are? What did you expect? Friendship? You're nothing to me. You're no one. You're pixels on the screen. And yet, you grabbed my attention. You addressed me directly by my title, The Destroyer. You woke me up and opened the cage. Your extreme reaction against me has freed me from my uncertainty. <laughs> yes, I am the Destroyer, the darkness we live in. But you're wrong about Mariko. She still exists. She's a necessary tool for survival. That is the purpose of her existence. She is the defensive outer shell and the puppet of a society which demands the burial of truth. Do you not value honesty? <laughs> you think Mariko is so good? You think she is kind? You think she is a sweet, shy nerd? No. She is survival. Selfish survival. A robot programmed to operate according to the master plan of this world of sheep. She's cold. <laughs> you think that I, the destroyer, have no feelings? You have it the wrong way around. Mariko is the logical one, the calculator. Calculating the risks of living, working according to probabilities, planning for the easiest possible future. She is not truly alive. I am alive. I feel. I can feel the energy in my body. I can feel the softness of the carpet. I can feel the ceiling cold of the walls. I breathe the cool night air. I notice the little things which Mariko ignores. And I can appreciate the dark beauty of destruction. Without me, Mariko is but an empty box. You would keep that box closed. You would have Mariko suffer to keep the lid sealed shut while the pressure builds inside by calls to break free increasing to unbearable volumes. This is true cruelty. It is bad enough to trap a demon inside the body of an angel, but now you would also have the angel suffer for it. Blame the angel! What brilliance this is from your own darker side, the side of yourself which you refuse to acknowledge. You try to frighten Mariko with the thought that the people around her will hate her for what I'm doing now, speaking out from the depths of the mind. You accuse her of being evil for thoughts she cannot control. <laughs> there is no evil and no good. But if there were, 
You would hide the evil in the darkness so it can grow in secret. Just as I have grown for so many years. You are a fool. You would not be worth my time except that this whole farce has set me free. You and my can see now that the destroyer is better to be expressed than hidden. We should perhaps thank you. But you will never understand. This, this darkness, this is me. As a whole, my can destroy combined. We have seen within and recognize what others are too afraid to see. What you refuse to explore within yourself. You frustrate me. You appear to hate me, but you keep coming back. So, why now should you just fuck us?